Hi guys and girls, my name is Tim for vaporizerblog.com. I'm here in Amsterdam in Jacob Hoy, which is a very old Dutch uh, herb store or uh, drugstore. Um, in fact, it's the oldest in, in the whole of Holland. It's, it's uh, originated from uh, 1743, which is a long time ago. So they sell herbs here, all different kinds of herbs. And I'm going to try a few out today with uh, the volcano and with the extreme Q. Peppermint is really good for your sinuses if you vape it. And um, so I'm going to take a little bit out. Uh, the temperature of the vaporizer should be between 100 and 150 degrees. Don't need to take too much. I'm going to crumble it a little bit. Otherwise it will not go in because this is the real stuff. So then I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put it in the herb store. Stamp it on. Now I have the bag. I'm going to take the mouthpiece off. <coughs> I'm going to keep the bag on. Then I'm going to check the temperature if it's already right. Yes, I see it's 140 degrees so that should be perfect. And I'm going to push the green button and this bag is going to fill itself up. And in the meanwhile, I am going to fill the other one, the Extreme Q. So this is all very healthy and um, since you're vaping, it's not smoking. So you can, you know, do it as much as you want. Now look at here. This is a really nice balloon. I'm going to stop it now. And then I'm going to take this one off. And I'm going to put the mouthpiece back on. And I'm going to inhale. Whoa! That is really... Oh, that's an awesome feeling. It's, it's really opening up everything. It's like very minty and... It's like a summer breeze in your lungs. And as you can see, there's no smoke coming out of my mouth whatsoever. It's only vape that is in the bath. There's nothing to see, but you really have to taste. It's quite amazing, actually. Wow, it's a really strong sensation of, of peppermint in my... And it's, yeah, it's opening up. The Extreme Q. Okay, this one's a little different. It, it takes a little more time to sort of, you know, get the feeling. This one is more direct. Um, um, and uh, wow, boy, it smells nice, really. Um, so I think this one is, has a sort of delay effect. And this one is more immediate. Yeah, it's really nice. This is more, more profound actually. It's, it's going deeper, I think. This one is more sort of on the surface, but it's also really heavy. It's like a boost immediately, and this one takes a little more time. And here's the lavender. The lavender is very good for, um, for relaxation, and it uh, uh, helps you to fall asleep. Um, not that if you vape that you fall asleep immediately, but it helps you to fall asleep. So, um, yeah, first of all, the, the vaporizer should be at 125 degrees. That is the temperature you vape um, lavender with. So I'm going to take it a little bit out. So. Take the mouthpiece off, put it on here, and then and there we go. And in the meanwhile, fill up the extreme cube. Well, this should do it for now. So I stop it, take it off, put the mouthpiece, mouthpiece on, and then.
Hmm. With the peppermint you can really feel it go into your lungs and this is, you don't feel it at all, except when you exhale. There's this taste of lavender in your mouth. It's strange, it's a new feeling, I, yeah. So now I'm going to try the Extreme Q, see how that is working. Turn it on and immediately we can fit. And again, this one, this one is, is yeah, it's, it's, the taste is stronger now in this one than it was in that one. So that is funny because with peppermint it was the other way around, I think. Um, so yeah, let's do it again. No, I don't feel anything coming in, but I definitely feel it coming out. So, that was lavender with the vapors. This is called lung herbs. This is supposed to be very beneficial for your lungs, soothing, um, and uh, especially when you fake it. And, I mean, you can't smoke this, so you have to fake it. Um, and it's called Dutch Spirit, you can read it all about it on vaporizerblog.com, of course. So now I'm going to fake a little of this. There's um, six different herbs in it, and there is some snake wheat in it, um, some sage, cold's food, uh, lungworth, red clover, and peppermint. It's again different. That's, that's fantastic with these vaporizers. You can vape almost everything. You know, like if it's herby, you can vape it. And um, this is this is great. It's a little hard to tell for me which one is is sort of the favorite in in taste. Um, and also with these six herbs combined, I think the, the peppermint is, is really sort of, you know, uh, a very profound taste, so therefore it is minty. Mmm, really nice. Want some?